Well, guys, it looks like Don John's heavy lifter, the Chesapeake 1000, has arrived on the scene in Baltimore. Um, I'm going to leave you guys a link here at the top for video on this particular piece of equipment that was done by another YouTuber. It's impressive with some great drone footage. Now here we see uh, Fox is kind of covering the story of this massive uh, lifting crane coming in. Now this is this setup's a little different from uh, from what we might think of with cranes in that the main boom does not pivot uh, independently of the barge. It's fixed, and uh, this thing will lift an incredible amount of weight, but it won't really twist it. Um, they can maneuver it, and we're going to talk about that in just a second uh, from side to side, but uh, it is... Uh, a massive lifting device. Uh, the tip of the boom's well over 200 feet. It has decent reach. Uh, I think over 60 feet of reach where you can get out there to pick it up. On Don John's website, we see the specs uh, for this piece of equipment. Uh, it's got an interesting history. If uh, you want to do some research on it, and and as to the origins of this particular lifting equipment. Um, very interesting. But another thing I notice here, the mooring system is done with anchors. I don't really see where there are any spuds on this, this particular barge, at least not from the images that I'm seeing. Um, if they have to stick out uh, anchors, that's another uh, time consuming process to get those anchors put out into place and pulled down tight, usually with tugboats to set those anchors. Uh, that will take a little bit of time to get that done. It all depends on where they're going to place it. This is a massive lifting piece of equipment, and they can by using the system of anchors attached to cables that are then attached to winches, maneuver this barge from place to place and kind of move it back and forth if they need be with that system of anchors and cables and winches. So let's keep an eye out for that. A lot of power and it will be the workhorse for the, for the project. Now, one thing I do want to clear up yesterday uh, on one of the cranes that showed up, I inadvertently Put an extra zero in the search for the information on this particular crane that showed up. This is a Libier 1300, not a 13,000. A 13,000 is known as the world's most powerful crane. This is a 1300 with a lifting capacity rated on their website of 330 tons. On the barge, it, it might be somewhat limited. Uh, from that, they, they may not be able to get that kind of uh, weight picked up on the barge. Uh, a lot of it depends on the operator. Side loading, the, the tip of the boom uh, becomes kind of crazy when you start picking up a lot, of, a lot of weight on some of these rigs and very quickly can be catastrophic. So it's something these guys, operators on these things are very skilled. They probably have some of the best in the world out there as they prepare to get this massive project underway to clean up the entrance there at the Francis Scott Key Bridge. All right, that's all we got for today. Hey, guys, appreciate everything you guys are doing watching the channel here. We're going to continue to try to share what we know here and what we can kind of cipher from what we're seeing. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with us. As always, we want to say you guys be safe out there.